Um, <laughs> I think theater is great and very important for our schools, and I'm happy to be sharing it with all of you. So. I'm Heather Dory. I'm Connor Thurston. I missed the last one because of COVID. Oh. COVID shut it right down. Yep. Second year, we did it virtual. That was interesting. Yeah. Um, but they were totally dedicated. Virtual. It was. And we had puppets. Yeah, they had yeah. puppets. Um, last year, still social distancing with yeah. masks. Mm -hmm. but at least we could actually have her in person. Yeah. Um, we did limited yeah. acting. Mm -hmm. So I'm anxious for maybe we will right. go full on. Right. Full on with an actual mm -hmm. audience. Like last year, we invited mm -hmm. the pre-K. I think. Yes, our audience yeah. members who were oh, I want to get loved it. Yeah, so I think we can really do it how we envisioned it for years. Absolutely, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. So we do um, the ugly duckling mm -hmm. and the cannibal mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and then tie in the lessons. Tie in the lessons. lessons. We do a lot of um, just you. You just wonderful. It's Aww. really you know, and it's that we try to do it the stretch between February, February and April. April, just that mm -hmm. that yeah. March. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's a good, it, it has a good, mm -hmm. I don't know, Those beginning and end, yeah, but it's also that time where everything's a little wacky, but yes. we're still pushing forward with everything. Perfect. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of the exercises are ones that we've kind of touched upon here. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different ways this can go. I mean, I actually spent a lot of time today just kind of re-reviewing what I put together for this because it could go in so many different directions. And I want to make sure I'm honoring mm -hmm. everyone that's showing up and having something that you can actually bring back to the classroom and but also have it be a fit. So mm -hmm. th th there's a lot of things um, to consider. But yeah, in that one, um, it, there's such good lessons. I mean, because you came up with the idea of wanting to have more exposure to fairy tales. And um, mm -hmm. and then so, the, I mean, the lessons are great. I mean, it's, it's bullying, it's stranger danger, mm -hmm. it's bravery. I mean, there's a lot going on just in sitting with these old stories that we can overlook. And, and I think one of the things, too, just as a population that they're not used to having somebody else come in and, and, and be the teacher. And, right. You know, and I see behaviors that are so much better yeah. than I see on a daily basis when somebody else comes in. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and it's really, it's, it's, it's really very, special. It's very, it's it's very special. special. It was for kids 
I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They understand yeah. the importance. Yeah. yeah, that this is something. Yeah. Miss Nicole. Yeah, so, I mean, I've been traveling around kind of doing this in different mm -hmm. schools um, for a few years now, and it, it, you know, some programs really get, get to continue, some programs are more of like a one-time situation, or um, I get brought into the school, but for the different focus. Um, the funding is usually grant scholarship mm -hmm. funding, um, definitely like Title I, all that kind of category of the Title mm -hmm. I, two. I think, three, four, I mean, I can't remember all the ones that are connected to it, but they have. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been tricky, scheduling's been really tricky at this time, so right. like, I, I don't know, I will see if, if it keeps looking in that same format mm -hmm. as from past this year. So, right. yeah. Yeah. But I'm happy to talk to you about yeah. How, yeah. Yeah, yeah. how it would be dangerous and something to come up with. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, um, <laughs> oh, and, and I did have one more thing. Like, yeah, I think a really fantastic thing that I would like to do is come see your final performance. Oh, mm -hmm. Like that would be great oh, yeah. PD for sure. You know. Oh, that would be yeah. cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Everybody on your list. Yeah. <laughs> more than more than Mary. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Yes. Totally. All right. Well, I'm Amanda Cotton. Mm -hmm. I teach seventh grade. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm Heather Graves and I teach music in Northeast. And Christina Nicholson, sixth grade math at Connors Emerson. And we went to New Hampshire over a break and I have an eight year old and a six year old. And we've always, or not always, but for a few years now, we've done like telling a story with one word and then there can be an argument. Like that doesn't make sense to that isn't, you should have picked a better word. And the word relationship, like, has saved us on car rides for, and it's mm -hmm. also easier for me and Peter, mm -hmm. your classmate, yeah. Yeah, to classmate. hang. So yeah. he's also thinking you, Nicole, um, <laughs> in there because after a while their stories, you know, always involve something with potty or whatever. But this was just a neat connection and they're really listening. So anyway, used in the classroom, um, especially when we have like a wonky block or yeah. they've even asked to do it like when we've had like inside recess or had to come in because it started raining or was really windy. But I just, I really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you on a car ride where you're yeah. like, okay, word association and we just <laughs> go and cool. they love it and we love it. Oh, I love that. That's yes. connected so well. Yeah. I, I love it. I've been doing yeah. it. <laughs> and it's funny with like, anyone who wants to play it. So right, and and when somebody thinks of a word that you didn't think of, and they congratulate you, like good one. Yeah. Like, yes. yeah. 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 Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. So it's also like always positive yeah. instead of wanting to take somebody mm -hmm. in a different route. Yeah, you don't have to have a shared goal. No, so that's nice. And this, the leaps, the leaps are so yeah. great. Like because I could always use blue as that example one. That's usually my I enter the classroom and you get you know, water. Sky yeah, and right. sadness and things like that. But there was one school I taught at, and they said blues. And I was like, Yeah, like jazz. <laughs> right. I was like, yeah, Okay. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just the. You, know, you can just appreciate it. You can just like, appreciate everybody it. gets to bring whatever they want. Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing wrong. Just be respectful. Mm -hmm. Yay. Um, just before we do dive in, um, any other things you may want to share? Did you try anything from last yeah. class or the class before? Something that worked, didn't work? Or we tried. Um, yeah. We tried the like the empathy, like just talking about empathy and how it might help you connect other people if mm -hmm. you're thinking about their body language, what they look like, mm -hmm. and what they're feeling, and you know, which was just kind of fun mm -hmm. um, to just kind of talk about. And then I did some of those prompts that you had, like lead with your foot or lead with your Yay! whatever, you know, and some right. of those things. And I also just did like emotions, like mm -hmm. walk around like you're really sad or like you're really upset or. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was those. It was so interesting. Like, and then I asked them which ones they liked better at the end, and they were, and inevitably they were like, "I love showing off my nose." <laughs> that was so weird because I said, "Leave with your nose." They didn't really know. I was like, "Your nose is the most special thing everyone should see." They're like, "Yeah." Like, it was so funny. Like they were so into that more than anything, more than anything else. Um, and so they really enjoyed kind of just doing that. But it was interesting to see which kids are just more comfortable in their skin. Yeah. Like there's just some kids that just just uncomfortable trying new stuff. Certainly. And we did the eye contact and they agreed, they're like, I don't do eye contact that much. Yeah. You know, so it was really, it was, kind of, it was more comfortable for some of them to do the avoidance. Yeah, sure. sure. So it was just kind of interesting to give an opportunity for them to talk about that kind of stuff. Love so it. it was fun. That's excellent. 
and I love it. It's excellent game. Yeah, the movement exercise and then they gravitate to it. That's fantastic. Yeah. I wanted to do the cat game, mm -hmm. but, the corner. but we, I kept waiting for the link to come out so I could rewatch oh, it. So I'm yeah. like, we're gonna do this thing. I just said it. To yeah, and so I'm like, and I'm like, but I can't remember exactly. I don't want to. I don't want to teach you too wrong, and I want to watch it again. Yeah. And so they know what's coming. So. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah. And we could. I mean, I'm happy to. I mean, we've got more than we're probably going to get to today, but um, we can always revisit a game too if it yeah. felt like you wanted to put it back Nicole, in your body. Nicole, is the link? Does it come on the? Where, where so it goes the, to the <laughs> MBI Trojan YouTube page. Um, okay. But just with the holidays and everything, <laughs> the okay. most recent one just. Is so I can send that one out tonight, actually. Um, okay. But it, it's only now available from, okay. from, from December. Um, but yeah, because it is helpful. I find it helpful, actually, yeah. too. Right. To be like, right. how did that work? Did, did, right. did, did, right. did you like it? Like, <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was I crazy? Or, or mm -hmm. yeah, things like that. So. Recreate that video, but I have another version that I can send out to that. So there's another access point to see it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have that for all of that, but I do have it for that one because that's one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, Kitty Wants a Corner is mind blowing how many people you can play that game with if they're into it. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you have the space. I mean, because it's going to be done outdoors or in the gym yeah. um, or certainly classroom space. So. It's been great at the end of the day, too, like when you don't know when buses are going to go, that the kids are engaged with each other instead of splitting into their groups and like waiting until they're dismissed to turn on their phones or look at their phone. They're just all very present in the room. Yeah. Uh, and we actually, a lot of kids knew it from Camp Beach Cliff. So that was also oh, helpful so nice. that like some of them knew without me trying to find the words for it. CC Whitehead, um, can you please come to the main office? In our, in our class, Tiger wants a corner, um, just because we're the Connors, Emerson Tigers, and that it felt like it was fresh to our <laughs> Right. And it's still a feline. Yeah. I haven't thought of that, but you're right. Gosh, Hi. Welcome. Hey, sorry, I was here a little earlier, but I walked way past. Oh, 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 oh some no. extra steps. <laughs> oh, oh, sure. You found us. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Um. Okay, so we just we redid intros. Um, but Judith is second grade MBE, yes, yes. and Michelle is reading intervention at Tremont. Um, Um, so we'll dive in. So we can have some more takeaways for today to bring back to the classroom. Um, and I put at the top here, this was one actually that I had hoped we'd get to the first class and we didn't. Um, it's called Rocket. And um, I'll read what I have. So you stand in a circle, all of us at once, um, and there'll be one person that starts, they initiate it. And they're going to send a sound and a movement that will rocket around the classroom or around the circle. So they send it to the person, that person receives it they send it to the next person. So again, you're, you're having that interaction of eye contact, it goes to the person, they turn, they send it. Um, I've run into the challenge sometimes where students over anticipate it and basically skip the receiving mm -hmm. and throw off the pattern. The idea is that you want the energy to just keep flowing around the circle. So it's, it's ba this can go two different ways. The way I've played it the most and that I seem to gravitate to is that it's the same sound and movement going around, but with keeping the energy up of whatever you've received. 
um, it comes back to the first person, and then the next person starts a new sound and movement. Same thing, goes around the circle, comes back to you, you repeat it, new sound and movement. And we just go, ideally you make it around the circle, right. or you go as long as you have time for it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, the other way that, that that is a similar version is that you could let it change, right? And kind of morph around the circle. Um, I don't know why I gravitated to this one yeah. more, but I, I like it. Yeah, it gives it a little more structure. Um, I feel like in a weird way, it's a little bit more yes and. It has less of a chance of kind of going in some direction that might shift it. Um, I did put in here, yeah, you want to, again, be respectful. Stay away from obvious trendy dance movements where possible. Um, <laughs> Um, and again, I listed kind of how this connected back to the FEL, so we're working on our body language, we're listening, we're receiving and, and responding. Um, emotions and energy are contagious, right, so we're sending that around. And um, we've got our eye contact, support, check in my boxes here, working collaboratively, the social awareness, relationships, and responsible decision making. So really, we need to do nothing more in life. So, <laughs> we're just gonna do rocket. Yeah, we covered everything. <laughs> um, does that feel like enough of an intro to at least try it? And again, we don't have to go, you know, the whole gamut of the game. But I say we stand only because then we have a little more energy in our body. Um, and again, kind of like in machine, it, it's not, it doesn't have to have a lot of sense behind it. The sound and movement, just again, respectful and something that moves under.
and she owns it. She's like, I'm grumpy until about snack time, and then I wake up, and so it'll be interesting to see, like, and she's very Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that idea of, of taking what they're bringing, mm -hmm. yeah. have that be part of the motivation of what's created, and then seeing it play out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would be interesting to like have them to react, like what would your reaction be? Like, act grumpy, and then how do you feel when you see grumpy? Yes. You know, like, how do you think that? mirroring exercise yeah. 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 absolutely which a lot of this is kind of in connection to right like we're still watching each other and expressing right. the same thing so yes perfect um the next one i don't know how successful it will be um, it was one again that i had wanted to do that first class but i thought maybe we'd have a little more environmental sound i think we're just going to get that fan but um <laughs> but we'll, we'll just give it a little taste because off this could, just a few seconds. we could turn it off for a few seconds it's okay. I think it's okay with getting a channel on it. No, it's just that right there. Oh, I think it's I this think big guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like this a, one. I know. That we could have done. I was yeah, thinking we could just turn that off for just a second. Yeah, like Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> Shut down the system. It's going to be a breaker. I'm not going there. <laughs> it's a pretty short one, but I like this because it's a good, it's almost, it's very meditational without absolutely being meditational. So it, it gives them just a good calming exercise while they're still really focusing on listening. Um, oh! Oh! Now you can do it. Can I turn my fan on? We'll okay, so we'll just dive in before that comes yeah. back on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's oh, it's probably on a time shot. building fully quiet right now. Wow, it's so still. Okay, so you relax and stay as still as possible, listening to the sounds in the environment. And I'll, I'm going to time it, and I invite everyone to close their eyes if they're comfortable, right? Um, so I'll just invite you to close your eyes. You're not going to create noise. You're just going to listen to the sounds that you hear. And you can close your eyes. But did anyone hear anything? Any sound? The, isn't there something that there's another thing? Mm -hmm. I feel like I hear something over here too. Probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear one too. Glad no wheels. I can hear my watch ticking. But not too much. I know. I know. Human noises are fine. It's just, it's just that, like, you'll find the students that want to oh, yeah. make yeah, no, noise. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, because we do a focus breath yeah. at mm -hmm. the beginning of, not the very beginning, but sure. part of our morning meeting. Yeah. That it, and there are some that just, they just can't. And they're, they want people to be looking at them and mm -hmm. focusing right. on them. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do a little movement or a little noise, mm -hmm. something. And so we often have to go back over. I do something like this, I call it nature's music, mm -hmm. and I take them outside and we walk, and we, when I hold up my finger, we all stop and we listen, mm -hmm. and I take them to key points. Sometimes when it's windy, you can hear like the flag whipping in the wind, mm -hmm. and they're like, I've never heard that before. Oh. Like, they're just not aware. Yeah. 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 And just their footsteps. Like, yeah. you don't think yeah, about like no. their footsteps, mm -hmm. and I'm like, wow. So when we're walking through the hall and we're saying, First grade's working. <laughs> like, yeah, right. you know, you listen yeah, to your feet right. outside, that's your feet inside. So that same sort of, yeah. just being aware of nature around you, mm -hmm. uh, they're not used to doing. No. Mm -hmm. so. What do you call it, nature's music, did you say? Nature's that's what I call it, nature's yeah, music. Right. And sometimes we hear birds, and sometimes we hear lawnmowers, right. and sometimes mm -hmm. we hear mm -hmm. the yeah. flagpole, mm -hmm. but, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. Um, and yeah, it, again, it's just, relaxing and listening to the sounds around you. And one thing I really like about this is every environment is going to have a different sound. Right. Each time of day is going to be different, right? Like your classroom sounds different at 8.30 than it does at 12.30, um, just based off of what's happening around you. Um, but I, 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly, the hallway. Um, um, I, and again, I know we're kind of not really getting much out of this space, but just for the effort of how it goes, you're always supposed to do it a second time so that your ears relax a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I usually at this point would say, right, can you hear anything outside of this room? Um, so we'll just give it another little taste just to have had experienced it. Um, so when you're comfortable, you close your eyes. In the mind up curriculum, they mm -hmm. call it the mindful listening, and it's really settling. And I think kids can use it if they are noticing that they feel anxious and want to settle because nobody knows if you're doing it That's or not true. doing it. Um, I really like the idea of doing this after something like Rocket so that the kids that just absolutely need attention or absolutely are like have a hunger for like moving yeah. their bodies can have it but then if you're going to do a lesson after they're going to be engaging yeah. in something afterward I think this is a nice not a whole lot of time piece to kind of settle your your body because the energy that I had when we did the Rocket compared to this is so different. Very different. And sometimes, again, it, depending on the classroom, there's a there's an exercise called feeling self with self, and this idea of like really allowing yourself to be in the spot that you are, right? Mm -hmm. So feeling your legs up against your chair, and the chair up against your legs, and your back up against the chair, and the chair up against your back, and your feet on the floor, and your hands wherever they are. Like just really positioning your body in this space uh, can be a good lead-in um, to just relax. And it also encourages them to sit properly, mm -hmm. which can be a really tricky right. thing. But how they can be all twisted around and talking to their right. friends behind them or anything except for actually seated in their mm -hmm. chair the way the chair wants you to sit mm -hmm. in it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we've done something like this with, with our group. Yes. And, um, I think we did like a smelly one or something mm -hmm. one time, and I remember it got a little, you were really good about honoring whatever they said, because I feel sure. like they all could smell something from China Hill when we were yeah. at the time to take school. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> right. It, it, it got, but you were very great uh -huh. about just, oh, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And just honoring, and then it, so uh, little kids will yeah. get a little like, oh, I heard a volcano. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was some sound so effect that was mm -hmm. very out of the environment. Yes. But yes. Right. <laughs> so I'm assuming just honor, you just. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think as much as it makes sense that. too. Right. Wow. right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think that's one of the nice things too when you come back to it and you mm -hmm. didn't hear anything new. Mm -hmm. We've gotten past whatever that sound yep. may or may not have been. Right. And we don't have to hear all the same sound again. Mm -hmm. right. uh -huh. But yeah, that settling into your chair and settling into your body can be a good lead and which probably yeah, will come really up like with, that idea. Right. with what yeah. you're doing there. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact um, that you're then in the space, right? Like you are part of the space that you're in right now. <coughs> well, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay. Um, well, this next one is not as quiet of an exercise. Um, <clears throat> that's an emotional orchestra. I don't know if you've ever done anything like this. Um, <laughs> it's the car ride to school every day. <laughs> you get to be the conductor. Yeah. <laughs> Back to empathy, emotions are contagious, recognizing emotions, working together, um, and a bunch of other focuses. So you would put everyone into like a section, like kind of maybe break up the class into three mm -hmm. sections and three different emotions, right? So I would do, let's see, I would put like happy over here. Um, maybe Judith to Susan would be mm -hmm. sad. Okay. And Michelle to Heather, um, <coughs> we'll go with worried. You feel like you can do that one, okay? I can do worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a good outlet. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> which we all have that we need. Um, and then, so the teacher will be the conductor, right? And um, so we can have, we can narrow in on our different sections. And so 
the conductor will put their hand in the direction of that group when it's their time to make a sound. Um, we'll warm up in a minute so you have an idea what these sounds are even going to sound like. <laughs> um, so just, so, and, and again, you can play with levels, right? So you can go, so you can make it softer, right? You can, you can bring it up, you can crescendo, and we can stop, right? Um, and also I can have one group going, bring in another group, get everyone going at the same time, right? And then maybe one group goes higher, one group goes softer, one group stops, right? Like, so eventually we all stop. Um, but again, just kind of, it's, 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 it's playful, um, and it allows for some emotional expression. So if we have, I said, happy, happy. sad, and worried, okay? So, um, and you can let your body get into it, but it's, it's whatever you're comfortable with, but it's really um, just making a sound in connection to that emotion, right? So it could be um, exactly a little laughter, a little whimpering, a little like, oh, right? Whatever. So right now, I'm just going to have everyone warm up their instruments, okay? So we're all going to do it together. <laughs> so no one's single out. It's not a solo. We making the same sound. They're just all happy sounds. Right. Yeah, you're just okay. the same emotion. You do not have to make the same sound. Oh, okay. But we make the same sound over there. Or really something sad. that fits in that emotion. It can change. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because you might find you done with that one or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any Ooh. questions before we go on? Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hands up. We're all gonna warm up our instruments. <laughs> <laughs> again and then I well I'll, I'll, I'll just conduct us group by group so we're gonna start with <laughs> to do. I was like, yeah. the worried in the laughter. <laughs> a little cackle over everyone else's performance. <laughs> um, it would be fun to do, like, um, for Halloween, like, when you're playing oh, like, witches and yeah. 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 character sounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah totally. I like that. Um, and, it's, and when you're standing in front of the class, it's very easy to conduct because you're already right there. Yeah. Um, and, it, again, it can be a nice little just little pocket into something and that connecting to whatever emotions you're talking about in a, in a very playful way, right? Mm -hmm. It seems pretty safe. Okay. Any thoughts or questions on that one? You're like, you can do characters in emotion. Yes, yes, you could narrow in on the characters. Oh, right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, make it easier to make those movies. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Normalized. It's not mm -hmm. like the inner struggle that we might make it for ourselves. Um, and yeah, it's, it, I guess that kind of like uh, I don't know, working with it, but also kind of stepping outside of it at the same time. Mm -hmm. That idea of like, like I don't know if anyone's ever done laughter yoga, but that idea that just the practice of laughter is so healthy for you, mm -hmm. like that your body actually resonates with the laughter, whether you're actually laughing, you're right. still kind of getting the same. Um, mm -hmm health benefits from it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess just the playfulness of it has right. a lot to it. You're smiling too, right? Yeah. I've heard yeah. that about smiling. Yes, yeah. like you can just be faking smiling and yeah. so you still yeah. get like the... And that could be... I know, I could have reset. Yeah. 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 Um, so the next one is, um, is kind of a phase where are we at. Um, do you guys want a break? No. Everyone no. 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 good? Right. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Um, so a tableau or stage picture. Um, I put this in here so we could actually phase into the next one, um, and I have a way that we can approach this. So basically, we're just so it, in a, so at, if you've done theater, right? You know, the idea of creating a stage picture, right? So people are on stage. Um, probably wouldn't be seated like we're seated, right? We're all just spraced out. We're all at the same level. Um, you, it's, it's, it's creating a more um, enticing picture that might tell a story, right? Might let us know a little bit of where we are, how people are feeling, um, how well they know each other, right? And whether they're comfortable with distance or close, um, whether they're getting along, right? Or whether they're not getting along, right? So again, how our body language tells a story. But working together. So if you if you take kind of what we practice in machine, where you're aware of the people um, and you're complementing where the positioning is, it's kind of the same practice. Um, and so I thought we could go. So I've done this in a bunch of different ways. Um, I actually I, re I was remembering I did it when I I did a whole series of theater integration stuff um, in Ellsworth, and we were doing I was working with the middle school on um, slavery and the Underground Railroad actually. And um, I ended up doing this practice because it seemed a really kind of, even though it's such a heavy topic, but kind of like a, a playful way to approach different emotions that were in connection mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I was taking those different emotions to apply to creating a stage picture. Um, I had done, in fact, I grabbed one of the, my little scribbles from that. I did like freedom, um, I am afraid, teamwork, uh, we will survive. Pride, right? So again, like what it was like to go through this, and and we connected it very much with kindness with the Underground Railroad, but it, it took an act of kindness for people to do the journey. Mm -hmm. um, so we can. I might just have us play around with a couple of these words, or I had also just put in just some again emotions, right? Happy, sad, angry, worried, um, or you can put it in an environment, right? What does it What does it look like at a tableau in winter? Right? Or what does it look like at a tableau um, in the lunchroom or the first day of school <laughs> or like, you know, mm -hmm. these scenes that we visit in a school? What does that look like? Um, and I pulled up just because I didn't know if this was going to feel too far-fetched. Um, we'll see if my phone will operate. Um, just some kind of like dramatic music. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't just feel like we're just moving around. Um, <coughs> see, I should have put this already in here, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, I'll. I think I'm hoping I'm in there already. Yeah, I should be okay. Um, so let's think here. Um, why don't we have? Because I don't think we. I think it's actually helpful if we're not all doing it at the same time. And, and if, if yeah. everyone doesn't want to do it, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But I would say even if we do. And we could do half and half or something, like mm -hmm. um, five and four. Nice switch. Okay. Nice switch. Yeah. Um, so first, I'll actually. So I would. I'm going to invite the first group up. Maybe we'll just switch it too. We can make audience performance oh, performance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that way, you guys all have more space. Um, and kind of like we did last week, where you just move for a moment. Let's just put the music on. Just kind of feel being up there, and then I will give us a word that that we're going to embody into. Um, a stage picture or tableau. So a tableau, I, I didn't know it was, a, it was a French inspired word, not that it's not obvious, but um, is a representation of a dramatic scene by a person or group, posing silently without moving. We're gonna do a little movement to get into it, um, but that's what it is. Um, does anyone, is it, uh, is it translating what a tableau or stage picture is, more or less? So we're gonna kind of freeze when yeah. you say like tableau, like like a piece kind of get yeah. Cool. yeah, you're making like a creative picture, kind of like a sculpture. Yeah. And my yeah. picture, I was like, my yeah. picture yeah. is a picture, or our picture. We're is trying a picture. to get it to work as a yes. Yeah, so if you think yeah. about a stage picture, you're all on the same scene. stage, right? So yeah, in in that picture, you would be in the same scene. Okay. Okay. It doesn't mean that you have to. Be completely joined with whoever's there, depending on what that word is resonating to you. But it could be, um, and again, to whatever level you're comfortable, you can throw in some you know, levels. Or again, asymmetrical things are very good. So it's not just all this 
and everyone kind of at the same level. Mm -hmm. um, but you can play with a chair or you can play with how you're in the chair, right? Mm -hmm. um, Could you give one example of a word that you might throw out? Yeah. Um, oh, let's do, well, we can start with pride. I like pride. Pride, right? So like, just even think of how you'd hold your body in pride mm -hmm. and the way you might position yourself versus like, you were feeling shy, mm -hmm. right? Um, and how that might look. So if you're if you're proud if you're proud as a group, mm -hmm. right? Like this is like some powerful group coming at us. Um, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it's all nonverbal. All nonverbal. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can make whatever sounds you need to in getting into it, but basically, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no sound. Um, no, but it's not like this. Like, right. Yeah. You're not discussing. You just mm -hmm. more things. Yeah, you're just you're finding a pose that you feel expresses that, and you're aware of the people around you, right? So it doesn't have to be, you know, a bunch of. I mean, it, it can be more intertwined. It could be, um, I don't know, more of a. I mean, if we're all comfortable being close to each other, you know, it could be more of a thing, like, right? Ponder. Yeah. Ponder. Huh? Ponder. Yes. Yes. It was ponder. It wasn't necessarily pride on that one. Sorry. No. No. You're absolutely right. 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 Like, dive in. I would say maybe, yep, Judith, I'll, I'll put you in here. Shannon, I'll put you over here. Is that okay? Um, let's see if this wants to give us any dramatic music. We might end up with commercials. I don't know what it is. So, first, let's just stand our four, right? Just be aware. So, you have this whole space. How about just to start? To start with teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Music might not be our friend right now. Okay, and on one, two, three, and freeze when you're comfortable. Love it. Right? Look, have a look at the picture that just formed, nice. and all the action in this picture. Excellent. Okay, and you can relax out of that, and just allow yourself to like be in this space. You can move a little bit. We're I'm buffering. I'm sorry. Um, I don't think we need to. Yeah. Okay. Great. I think we're feeling. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so just allow yourself to be there. Uh, we're gonna go with love. Hmm. So it's basically an oral presentation, 
but in whatever format that wants to be. So they could be um, telling a story of, of something that you've been studying or that they've read. Or again, I kind of gave some um, examples that we can work with based off of some of the character work that we were doing in last session. Um, and I've also done this um, like directly with social studies. So if there's a, someone that they're studying, right? Um, I did this with Nat actually with her fourth grade mm -hmm. um, history, like the Wax Museum. Mm -hmm. So the idea that they're speaking from the standpoint of that character, mm -hmm. and they're saying, but they're guiding you through a story. So. What I wrote here is, um, this is a slideshow presentation of, right? So I, I used your Fritz. This is a slideshow presentation of Fritz from the Nutcracker, right? In the first slide, we see. So we have one person telling us what's happening, and then we have an ensemble creating the slideshow. Oh, okay. So they're going to create the picture that the other person's saying. So that's exactly what you just well, did in the tableaus. Yeah, right. But it really opens it up because then you take what would have felt very uncomfortable and very mm -hmm. presentational, and it makes it really playful. And then you have the opportunity where one person is speaking and other people aren't speaking, they're just right. moving, and they're moving as a group. Right. So it's not so much you on the spot, mm -hmm. and it takes something that might feel really kind of like rigid and straight from whatever they directly learned it from and frees it up. Mm -hmm. So I thought we could try whatever you might want to express, but I also didn't want to put any like mm -hmm. push on anything, so I just wrote out a little bit about Fritz's story, a little bit about the Grinch's story, and a little about Hansel and Gretel. So, if we want to try this, I would invite one person to say, oh, this is a presentation of, and then this first slide you will see, and you go click, and that slide will form, right? <laughs> if they want to talk about it, they can. Oh, my second slide is of blah, 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 and click, and we see it, and then my final slide is it's, it's really endless on yes. what they would be presenting. Yes. And it's very playful, and we're going again back to body language, paying attention to our spatial surroundings with each other, yes, anding what's physically happening over here, yes, anding the story, and listening to the story. So it's different than one person acting as a character. It's like everybody could be Fritz. Like, yes. It's not just one Fritz, and it is from everybody else's like, They, could, they could be, right, it can go both ways, depending yeah. on what the group wants to do. And, I'm, and I would support either one. If you want to challenge them, like if it's something you've done with them a few times or you want to push them in a certain direction, you could. Mm -hmm. But it, it can absolutely be, yes, everyone is going through their Fritz experience. Or it could be Fritz and Clara and whoever else. Or like if there's you know, the Nutcracker or whatever whatever else would be in the scene. Let's see, a couple of persons, okay. a couple of questions. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. But are they, fa are the people in the slide figuring it out non-verbally, like, we did with Tableau, or do they get to whisper a bit? If they need to whisper, they could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I think and once they get in the practice of it, okay. they'll hear it and then try it. They'll be like, try. And, and then adapt if they realize there's two Fritzes. They might be like, oh, I right. can be. Or then you can be like, oh, that's not the right mm -hmm. slide. And because in my slide, this is what happened. But <laughs> like, you could do it. Like, do it like, almost like in small groups, and they have time to work on it together. Almost like a computer skater sort of thing. I like it completely. Yeah, like right. Yeah, like right. You, you right. Like you read the story and then they're yeah. going to share their story, but like in this way. So right. It doesn't work on it yes. ahead and then present it. So, so it doesn't have yes. to be improv. It could be mm -hmm. here's your okay. go it work could on be it. Whatever. Come back. Okay. So could, did your classroom. Like I'm saying like if you like two have two book groups and they both read different books. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Right. Like, right. Okay. What a great way for each group to learn the other person's book. Because right. they're supporting the story. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. You almost I, I don't know retail. How many you would it's like a retail. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems like a handbook might be better than a little class. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like Absolutely. smaller groups. Yeah. Like a visual retail. Yeah. 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 Right. Is this similar, Nicole? Yeah. Because I don't think we've done this with. Um, no, I don't think we have. With young kids, but you did something similar where um, you just had a few kids and you said you were on a park bench. Yeah. And it's cold. Yes. Yeah. So you you set up a very simple. Mm -hmm. Slide yeah, them. that's how old am I? I thought I've got that thinking for next class. <laughs> Similar to that, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, for for younger kids. Yeah. That. Um, okay. Sorry. No. Yeah. So you right. create the environment. I mean, yeah, you could you could support this in as many directions okay. as you want to. Okay. Um, and give it as much prep as you want to. Okay. Right? It, can, it can be right. something that's been practiced mm -hmm. and, yeah. and part of the lessons leading into it. Okay. Um, but I would still encourage it being very playful. Right. Right. In a way that was still respectful, but like mm -hmm. so that it didn't lose its um, yeah. kind of spunk. I guess. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I say we try yeah, any of absolutely. these or anyone that you were thinking of. Um, again, so we go through Fritz's story a little bit, we go through the Grinch's story, and we go through Hansel and Gretel. Um, and again, it can be any characters, any of the background that anyone would want in there. Again, any of the emotions that you might Im imagine connected to this. Mm -hmm. um, just for a glimpse of how this could unfold. And mm -hmm. um, anyone want to lead the slideshow? I can lead the slideshow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone want to be Maggie's um, ensemble for the slides? Thank you. Anyone else with Shannon? I'll go with Shannon. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. Um, and if, if others feel like it might need a little bit more, you're welcome to hop in. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, I'll give you this space over here, um, just because I can move, and that way you have a little bit of a spot. Which one are they doing? The I don't know. Whatever oh, you feel. Okay. I don't know if it matters. I know least about him. Unless I can just be a witch and right. everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and maybe, especially because we are doing a more improvised version, you can right. very much lead them in, right? Like, so th this is my slideshow of blah, blah, blah. Okay. And in this slide, this happens. And you can put yeah. as much detail into that as you want. To. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome. <laughs> this is a slideshow presentation of the Grinch. In the next slide, actually, my first slide, in the first slide, you will see. The Grinch eating his oatmeal every morning alone with his dog Max in a cave outside of town. <laughs> in our next slide, we're going down the mountain to the people of Whoville who are very happy and love Christmas. Click! <laughs> Unfortunately, the Grinch does it. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> okay. The Grinch pretends to be Santa and dresses his dog to look like a reindeer. Quick! <laughs> and at our final slide, we see the Grinch learned his lesson and his heart triples in size and he sings with the people of Whoville. Quick! Thanks for watching our slides. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I, ha I said I'm going to pee my pants. Oh. <laughs> I was laughing and trying to like control myself. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. I ha can I, so, I have the lovely privilege of acting as principal sometimes at our school. Oh, and I yeah, actually fine. was thinking, this would be like a classic behavior thing. Yeah. Like, not a story, but. Like, what did he do? What did she do? Yeah, like, in my first it. slide, there were kids playing happily at recess. In my second slide, someone was left with no one to play with. You know, I just mm -hmm. yeah. thinking like, right. wow, that would be That's super cool. effective. Exactly what I Which again right. comes back to the tableau, like happy yeah. and right. rise together exactly. and smiling tableau. You've got that one person all by themselves and you've got the yeah. other group yeah, all yeah, together. Yeah. So again, that picture shows up. Yeah, that <laughs> visual versus <laughs> just. And you finally know who hit who. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah. That the behavioral practice could come right into play. Yeah. Any other thoughts about <clears throat> any aspect of this? Huh? It's super fun. Mm -hmm. Like I yeah. think, especially if you're doing something other people already have a visual for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. They right. can fill in all those extra spaces, and they feel like it really happened. Like, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll move forward. Yeah. Um, so. The one, th so I, I kind of quickly put these in here because I wanted, I realized that so much of this is very ELA and social studies based, mm -hmm. um, which of course lends itself quite well. So there's a couple of games that I thought might play well to math um, and to just other practices as well. So the, this first one is a pretty straightforward improv warm up game. You might have already done it, zip, zap, zop. Um, and I'll explain how that goes. Um, but I've used it as well as um, kind of a, a repetition game, um, a way that you could practice, uh, or you could review material. 
Um, you can certainly do it with um, like multiples of a number, like if you want, if you're Three, six, nine. Four. Yeah, exactly. Like just go through them, right? Mm -hmm. And then maybe go backwards if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Um, I I've done it with like the seasons in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. Like just to kind of get something to play with, and we're just passing it around. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever is something that would be just a fun repetition that we could use in a playful format. So yeah, I was very much thinking mm -hmm. the repetition of numbers. Um, but we'll try it as this steps up, and then we can try it that way just to, to test it. Um, what we'll do is we're going to stand in a circle, and um, the only words we're going to use to start are zip, zap, zop, in that order. And um, the way that you'll send it to another person is you're going to make eye contact, and you're going to send it directly to them, okay? Because you also want to make sure, because it, it'll be there'll be some people that'll be like, over there, <laughs> and then it's really confusing on whether Judith or Shannon received it. Um, so, so you're not going around the circle? No. You're doing it. Okay. No, it's a fast game, kind of mm -hmm. a, like rocket, where you want to keep mm -hmm. the energy of it up, um, and you don't want it to drop, and you want it to keep it in that order. It also can go into a, an elimination version, so that if it gets messed up, if there's too big of a pause, or if it's out of order, then you can eliminate people, if you want to take it to that level. Mm -hmm. I usually hold off going there, one, because then you've got a bunch of people that aren't in the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it also sometimes, I mean, off it can um, keep up the desire to play, right? right? That right. that level of competitiveness can be something that people actually really are wanting. Mm -hmm. um, so let's try this. Um, and again, in a normal improv situation, this is just a warm up exercise, just to connect you with our group, get the energy up. So again, zip, zap, zap, eye contact, and it's like this. Zip, zap, zap. So I would, so I would do a zip, right? And then Amanda would send a zap, and and zap. Yeah. Perfect. Zip, zap, zap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Zip, zap, zap. 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 Zip, zap, 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 zip, 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 zap, zap. Do you find that you go to people who are making eye contact with you? Because that's what I. Well, I just, uh, like, I, I, like, I, I just like look to the first person I make eye contact right, with. Right, but right, it's, yeah. like, is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, so okay. there's a lot. There's a lot of kind of drill games like this that can okay. unfold in this in this area of theater, and it's. Yeah, you kind of just want to stay open, right? Okay. It's almost like a basketball game. Right. Like, who's going to pass it? Right. Where's the right. coach? Right. 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 right? All right. Yeah, there's a lot of like. And you're like watching their happening. hands. Like I notice sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be looking up. Like, and I was watching mm -hmm. people's hands. Yeah. Right, sure. right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, me too. Right, right. But, but here's sure. the thing yeah. for those attention kids like mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, oh, those attention kids are gonna have a hard time because they're gonna do it for a little while, and it's as I'm thinking that right. someone. Right. So because my mind was going off, so that I yeah. can see right. at a certain they'd be on it right at the beginning, yeah. right. Right. and then some of them would sustain. have a hard time. But it's a great practice for yeah, yeah, staying all the way. Right. Yeah. And some people love these fast pressure yeah. games, and others are like, no right. way, no thank right. you. Right. Yeah. Um, right. So yeah, it's a mix somewhere. You, I, I find uh, high schoolers like these kind of games more so. Right. Um, it's like the people that you wouldn't expect to be doing these games are also like, I love this! Right. But but then you have others that, yeah, this is too much, it's coming yeah. at me through many angles, it's, it's a lot. Do you think that saying the three words is tricky for some kids? I'm just wondering. Like, some. Like, maybe even just they one word, so like, it's similar. almost like a version yep. of hot potato, oh, but right. you'd be like, catch! Yeah. You know, just to yeah. start with one As word. As a preliminary? Just one. Yeah. 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 You absolutely could do it that way. And I agree, yeah. it, that yeah. especially especially for younger it could well, be too much. Which word am I done? <laughs> right. yeah. 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 Well, it's interesting too because I remember playing this game once. I almost think it was TV years and years ago. Nice. And it was this level, but then the next level was hecklers. Oh, what is that? And what? there was a whole round. There were two or three people oh, around the outside yes. who were who were hecklers. <laughs> and their oh, job well, was to were you there? Yes, yes. it was in the gym. And really there were people attention. who kept going around the outside <laughs> and just saying like other things. <laughs> as part of the game? As part of yeah. the game. Yeah, I think you had to try to zone them out and take it. It was like a focus <laughs> training. Yeah, it's it was like city training. training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there were some people who were like, yes, and other people you would tell they were like going to cry soon. Yeah. 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 It's like 
being a teacher. The funny thing yeah. is, yeah. was like the point. Was the point for teacher training? Was it really hard to focus on stuff? Was that the point? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever have like start two different? Like she starts and she starts and. Oh my god. Do you ever do that, or is that too? Is it too hard? There's another game like that. The ball. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Sometimes people do that with like the like yeah. yes, right. whether an actual whether an actual ball or an invisible right. ball. Yeah. The, so I like do a quiet ball. ball with two yeah. balls going. Is that an right. invisible ball? Right. Well, quiet ball, you just have to make eye contact, but you're out if you oh. talk or if you don't catch it. What do you call so, it? So quiet ball. Oh, quiet ball. Okay. It's yeah. great she for like giving the kids like <laughs> an inside <laughs> break time, but they're all like they love it. Nice. You just ball up a piece of paper and they're. Throwing, but they're trying to work together because you don't really want whoever you're throwing it to to get eliminated. Because if you throw it too hard, so I always have a ref, right? And that changes, like, oh, I, I don't think you were throwing it for them to catch it or you weren't paying attention, but it mm -hmm. gets everybody kind of in the room together. I like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But if you had two physical yep. things, I feel like. Be like, I don't know, who dropped that zip that's off? Yeah. Right, that's yeah. true, true, true. true. Yeah, right. I mean, there is a, zip. Yeah. I, did, I don't know that one, but it's, it's awesome. And then there is one that I've done, but again, it's for the ones that really like this level of play, right. where you're throwing around invisible balls, and you start with one, right. and then you throw in another one, and then you throw in a third right. one. Oh, and, yeah. But they have different, they have colors, but oh. not, they're invisible. What? Like red? Wow. Yep. So so the way it happens is, is like I would throw, and you have to say the ball when you throw it and when you catch it. So I would say red ball. Red ball. Oh. And then you would throw red ball and they would catch it. And we'd let that go around. And then I'd throw in green ball. I like We can try it for a second. How many balls did you end up throwing? I usually don't do more than three. <laughs> and, if, and three usually gets really funky. Right. But it also can find a really cool rhythm. Yeah. We can give it a little. So there was one other. Just try. You want to give it a little try? we talked about it or we can move forward because I what I was going to do with what we just did was try the numbers the zip oh, yeah. that's off. Try try yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. I feel like that like curriculum wise slides in a little bit better um we're doing three for five or two five or two seem easier to me but we can do it three. what do you think yeah. you're a math teacher yeah. right you're a math teacher yeah so what do you think Five's good. Okay. Um, all right. What are you just gonna say? Fractions. Ooh. Let's do five. So just as it's up top, we'll start with five. Okay. And then we're just gonna go up in multiples. Okay. Yep. Okay. Five. Wait. So I was gonna watch to see what the rule was. Then what do you try to So you're just gonna add five. Five. Ten. 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 Five. I should have asked ahead of time. It's no, we just done. threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to like it. Sometimes it works. 15. 20. 25. 30. 35. 40. 45. 50. 55. 60. 65. 70. 75. 80. 85. 90. 95. 100. 105. 110. Okay, and I'm going to have us go backwards just for the sake of the So, 110. <laughs> attention yes. in case you get it next right. mm -hmm. that you're on your feet like you're engaged with thinking about the multiples I right yeah. so that's right. a really cool mm -hmm. way to have everybody engaged yeah. and on their toes mm -hmm. yeah. and just getting like those numbers right. in your system right, right. like going right. that's next that's mm -hmm. next that's next like. right. but even if you had a song about fives you might be in the background going oh, one, 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 one. <laughs> right, right. You know, right but if yeah. you're waiting to yeah. get it you're like yeah. wanting to fully yeah. engage with thinking yeah. Would you ever try that with pairs? Like, I'm just thinking of the child who, like, freezes or couldn't think of the answer and mm -hmm. you pair. So, like, could you sure. have two people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you have to. Like, right. Because yeah. yeah. you might have one person answers and one person. Not answering somebody else's number. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, like right. they're going to be sensitive yes. because like they know the next most bullet is right. 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 Yes. Yes. But also, like, I'm just yeah. thinking of the kid who doesn't know the answer or right. or they're thinking yeah. fast, fast, everybody's like staring right. fast, and they right. do know right. what they yeah. need a minute. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You could also just start with just do a slow motion round. You know. Yeah. Or even like two different types back and forth. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think it would be completely be adapted. Yeah. It's yeah. Super yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like the red team. You could tell and everyone to count to five in between, and then if they're yeah. secretly counting from the number to the next one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I think anything that you're doing a repetition of in any of your classes, right. this right. could be something that yeah, you just right. play with. No, what I like yeah. is we do a count around yeah. sometimes. Yes where it goes yeah. around the mm -hmm. circle and there's different ways to do it. Yeah. But I like this one because mm -hmm. you sometimes have those kids that aren't paying attention when it's over. Right. Mm -hmm. They oh, just wait till yes. it gets here. Right. They know right. that it's right. 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 Or, right. or they don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 You could always raise the bar to the elimination level if that felt yeah. appropriate to your group. Because yeah. right. mm -hmm. that might also get right. that person more engaged. Right? right? If that was yeah. competitive and they could win. Or if you have a chair thrown across the room. Right. Um, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yes. Again, whatever yeah. works yeah. for your group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like in my class, we do, you know, how long can we do it for mm -hmm. without having a mistake? Ooh. Like as a group challenge. As a group challenge. Yeah. So you, you yeah. don't get that elimination, but they're all. I do want to, so there's another one that I was thinking, like, kind of fits all the curriculums. I haven't done it a ton, actually, so I wanted to actually read it. I've, I gravitate towards really old game books. And um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, how to print book here. Um, but so it, why don't we sit for a second? And I have a setup so we can at least try them. <laughs> so the boards are good for the class. For ten, for the rest of the class. Um, so this will be the last thing we do. Um, so in this very old book, it refers to it as a blackboard relay. Um, so I'm just going to read it because <laughs> it breaks it up into a few different versions, which I like. So um, players are divided into two or more teams. The leaders in each team start with a starting line, run to the blackboard, write two numbers, one under the other, and either add or subtract them, putting down the sum. Each runs back and hands the chalk to the second player who is on the starting line. He, he runs to the board and puts a number under the sum and either adds or subtracts the numbers. The game continues until the last player has his turn. He must add or subtract so as to secure a final sum previously determined. So we can put a sum up in the corner that that final number is supposed to get to. Um, for instance, if 35 is to be the final number and the figure left by the next to the last player is 77, the last player must subtract 42. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So again, so you can go whoa. over and come back and subtract. Yes, yeah, it can go, go all over the place as long as we get back there. And that's a lot of pressure for that last person. It is. Right. So, yeah. so this is not, you know, yeah. does not fit for every class, but these are, these variations are great. Um, if a player makes a mistake, the next one must correct it before mm. contributing his own number. The mm -hmm. second version, this game may be played by having each player contribute one word toward a complete sentence, mm -hmm. which must be finished by the last yeah. player's word or by the last player, regardless of the number of words he uses. Oh, yeah. Third version, which will play to our even younger students, the game may also be played by drawing a picture mm -hmm. to which right. each contributes and which the last player finishes. For instance, the picture may be composed of a house, two trees, a fence, a child, and a dog, which may be as simple or as elaborate as the players care to make them. Each team must fulfill these requirements, the last player adding whatever is needed to complete the picture. So you could choose whatever setting it is is something that you've been talking about, um, whatever it's like something you're covering environmentally, something that you're covering um, so geography-wise. A word in the sentence, did it have to be the exact amount of words to make sense though? What if it didn't, what if the last word, and they needed another word? Sounds like in all of these, the last person has to clean it up. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Who yeah. wants to clean up? Yeah. 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 Say, who yeah. wants to volunteer to be the last person? Yeah. yeah. Right. Because sometimes there's that one kid who's like. Yeah. Pa- but even if you have a line of right. six, hopefully yeah. if person three makes a mistake in the math mm-hmm. line, person four or five caught it. Right. Because person four or five right. could be contributing to that with addition and subtraction, mm-hmm. and then person six, if they didn't spot person three's mistake. Right. Does each person have the, like, when they go up, is it a, is it a set amount of time? <coughs> right. They just have to complete their turn. Just Bless have you. to complete their turn, and then, okay. Yeah. The drawing could take a the while. The drawing, yeah. you might have to have, like, an egg timer. But yeah. that's going to be, <laughs> like, an inside recess thing. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like, right, right. Like, if you have yeah. lunch yeah. in your classroom, yeah. or something like right. that, where you have something else. Or if it was something less elaborate, like house, you can only make one mark. Like if you have to pick mm-hmm. up your pen, then it's the next person's turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, you make one part of the structure. Right. Yeah. I just love how, again, you've got teams, right? Mm-hmm. You're working mm-hmm. together. Yep, you can right. go, we've got math, yeah. we have writing, or we have drawing. Your choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So yeah. you really can practice yeah. anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's teamwork. And it's teamwork. So it's just a write out a song. Well, I was just thinking too, like if if it was to make a star, and there were six people, and they're all like, oh, easy. One person goes, two, three, four. Number five is going to realize if they're being a team player that they can only make half a line. You know, that sort of awareness of. Right. I like the moving bodies. Mm-hmm. What if you had dry erase boards or a piece of paper on a clipboard mm-hmm. and you were passing yeah. them, or you could even be passing too. Mm-hmm. So now I have to pay attention to what's been done before Ooh. me, especially with drawing for middle schoolers. Yes. You could be right. So, your like, story you about can, the and it could be switch. Like and, like, and then and say switch, and you have yeah. to stop wherever you were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then it's the yes and of what you're receiving. Right. Mm-hmm. And the word could yeah. be at the top of what it is you're drawing, yeah. like beach or mm-hmm. basketball. Or they or could all be the support. same thing, but because different people have done it and started, started you it. and started it, it would look different than mm-hmm. the previous one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those, are, those are really neat ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's wide open, really. Yeah. Um, I have a setup so we could try it. We don't have to try it. I mean, we could... Um, let's try it. Yeah. I mean, we can have, and they could be. And we don't if we if we don't want to be competitive with the other team. We could have one be math and one be drawing, or one be, mm-hmm. you know, we can shake it up, yeah. or we can yeah. narrow Especially in on doing the same thing for both. Right. Um, so us fearless leaders. Right. Um, I guess then let's do math. I mean, I mean, for the sake of staying on the same course, mm-hmm. just give it a go. Mm-hmm. Um, We'll have the same sum for each of them. Okay. Okay. Um, I think if I join, we have an even number. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Five and five. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So whoever comes in last finishes it off. We're supposed to have a starting line, which I guess I didn't think about that. Um, but, but if it doesn't matter who finishes first, how about this? Is it a race? Is it a race? Uh, it does matter who finishes first. It does. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's it's not like but the amount of time okay. you're up there oh, doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, 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 is that a lollipop? Did you just find that on the floor? I found it when I was putting everything together so earlier. so resourceful. <laughs> it is recycling. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's fun just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. I can go see there's hand sanitizer up there. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the surfaces could be just as good. True. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I think, I mean, we basically have enough of the rules to run with. Okay. Do you think so? Yeah. 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 So, Heather's yeah. going to write two numbers and mm-hmm. add or subtract them, and then I'm going to bring a number, any number, and then I'm going to add or subtract that Whatever to her and leave off number. Yeah, her summer is Okay. I'm sorry, I was in that during part of the room. Totally, that's <laughs> then, I, then I thought I would just watch what was happening. Yeah. Like I did last night. <laughs> um, yeah. So the end goal is to end up with 42. Well, so we're, we're gonna, gonna decide. decide. So we'll oh, just we'll choose, choose up there. Yeah. Um, we'll choose oh, the final yeah. number. Um, now you math teachers, don't go crazy, okay? Yeah. All right, oh, so we have to remember that. We have the different markers, so we need different boards. Yeah, exactly. Um, how about 110? I'm saying today's the 11th. But 11 is kind of small. How about 110? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. So we'll do 110 as our sum. 
for both of them. <laughs> Whoever goes, so each person can start with their <coughs> marker. Yeah, right? Now, do I wait until Heather <coughs> high fives me or just when they she hand turns? you the marker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Throw the baton. Or, or chalk in the blackboard. Don't throw the chalk. Um, um, so, so then I'm going to go behind you. Shannon, oh, no, you're on. Do this. Oh, cleaner oh, upper. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no, you can be a cleaner upper. I don't care. I don't smack talk up there. I'm just giving smack out. I was just trying to join a crew. <laughs> Does anyone want to be the cleaner? You're gonna do it. Yeah. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm just gonna squeeze them. Squeeze them right here. Okay. This is great. All right. So, so, when it, so everyone's feeling ready. ready? Sure. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Oh, somebody can make up the first one. I wasn't sure. Can I hand you the marker? Sorry. Oh, we can't first. Oh. Yeah, and we can go all the way up to the line. Oh, we can line up. Yep. Remember, if you see an error, you can correct it. <laughs> I know, right? Wow. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we have oh, wait. Wait. Oh, well, there's, a, there's, a, well, there's a, a number that doesn't have a number. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you say? You got your yeah. You got it. <laughs> yes. What do you think? Do we really answer? Do we care? I didn't yes. use it. Yay! Yay! I didn't know it was like one time no. she did it. Well, oh. I guess technically, but I mean, oh, we need to say. Yay! You were supposed and to be the main Yeah. yeah. All the I, I mean, we sent the multiplication, which I don't blame any one of us yeah. for. Yeah. But like, yeah. we did it. Yeah. All right. Go team. Nice job. Yeah. Let's try a picture. We'll do a picture? Yeah. And a sentence. I feel like this picture is a sentence. We can get a sentence if we get and then we can practice. Jesus. Now, what, with the like, sentence, what are the parameters with that? Well, it's only the sentence that makes sense, right? Huh? You can't end with, like, of. But the right, last right. person can add more than one word. Has to have a subject yeah. and an action. Right. Okay, so it's an action. Does it go okay. last? Just wasn't what that for what that. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 But is there a topic? Like, is right. it a sentence? Does it say? We can make a topic. Funnier. Yeah. 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 It's funnier just whoever right. puts the first word up. Right. I think that's so what too. happens. Is it one word per person or as many words as you want? It seems to. So um, the game may be played by having each player contribute one word toward a complete sentence, yeah, which must be finished by the last player's word or by the last player regardless of the number of words he uses. Oh, so the last player again okay. has to clean yeah. it up. Without gotcha. Okay, so no, 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 don't framework work at all. No, no. so there's Let's no, just see yeah. what happens. Just see. So the last person just finishes off that sentence. Okay. And the first person just does whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll stay with the same okay. order because we could change that. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you go second. <laughs> Is there a topic? One second. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, we're just go. Okay. Okay. Yeah? You're okay? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Set? Lake and a squirrel? Is that too much? Um, 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so a flag? Future. Oh, in the future. <laughs> well, yes. couldn't it be like space birthday party or beach? Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wouldn't that be? But we so all you can draw as little or as much oh. as you want, or one I don't think it has to be one line. Oh, you're you're adding. Um, I like to. Get, <laughs> I'm going back to the pen ideas. That was fun. Um, the what? Yeah, you can do whatever you can once you pick up the pen. Yeah, I like that idea. Game may also be played by drawing a picture, which contributes. I think we can draw, I mean, we can each add something to it. Basically, we could each add an object, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but it says, uh, maybe we could do like just, you know, adding something to it to pick up a pen, but maybe not give us. To what we make? And just do what we make. Do what we make. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're going to yeah. make, yeah. we're yeah. going to find it. Okay. Everyone okay with that? Yeah. 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 All right. Go team. All right. Uh, go. Yep. Because that way you kind of have to interpret as you go, like what is this? Oh, yeah, but these are two, so I guess maybe it's just an idea. So you're, okay. you're adding a little something. Oh, okay. Okay. Or depressed, right. yeah. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Any of them. Yeah. 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 Or happy. Yeah. <laughs> happy. Or 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 I know. Don't bother to look at because they smell yeah. like